You can start with an opening statement from you. You, you don't want to wait for these. Sh- you want to wait? Uh, just super proud of our team. Um, two, uh, two great back-to-back bounce-back wins. I think again, um, watching their growth from the beginning of the season to now, and being able to translate the things that um, you know we're trying to share with them as a coaching staff. I think tonight was a great example of that of just toughness, um, having a lot of heart, and just wanting to, you know, wanting to win. Um, nothing else mattered. Just coming out and getting a win was was the most important thing, and I think they displayed that tonight. Um, your team has you know developed some really good chemistry so far. Just what are you seeing from them when they play together? Like just more comfortable. I think um, they do a really good job of keeping the main thing the main thing. Nobody's worried about anything other than um, the team. You know, and that's the most important thing. And so, um, you know, they're still building chemistry too. You know what I mean? It's not fully there. Um, that'll that might not be to the middle of the season, but I but I like what they're what they're doing now and how they're looking for each other and how they're starting to understand each other's tendencies and in each other's strengths. Um, they're doing a really good job of that. I mean, late in the fourth, and you know, we had the ball with a lot of different people <laughs> making plays. How special is that to have? You're not gonna just gonna have to okay, one player's gonna try to win the game or yeah. get everyone at the ball. Yeah, it's, it's why we have the offense that we have, to be honest with you. Um, we know we have multiple options. We have multiple people that can do multiple things. And so um, we have this type of offense so that it's easier for us and harder for the for the defense to focus in on. Um, and tonight, man, our three all-stars really showed up. I mean, Rod Leash and uh, and CP showed up big in many different ways, right? Um, we know that there are they're all stars. They're our big three, but the other one was also just filling so well. You know what I mean? Looking at Haley here, sitting here next to me, she had what? Would you have Haley ten and nine, ten and nine tonight? You know what I mean? Which which is big. Thirty four minutes again, another. You know what I mean? Big minute, log big minutes again. Um, so the others are just filling in so well and complimenting um, the three all stars that we have on this team. You know, your teammates sat here a few hours ago and they said when you got to camp here. Not sure, should I, should I? <laughs> and now they're, they remember the Haley, they remember from, from the USA basketball and then in college. Can, can you run me through when this has kind of turned for you and when you just started doing what you've done your whole life? Uh, I think it just had to turn at some point. I was getting tired of playing like that, and I'm sure my coaches and teammates were tired of me being all nervous all the time. So I think um, just starting to relax and um, trust that, you know, I'm here for a reason. My teammates have confidence in me, and they've done a really good job reminding me of that. So finally buying into what they were telling me. What was that fourth quarter with the four points in a row when the guys needed the, the points? So how did that feel to them? Great. Yeah. yeah, I like when the team scores. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, Haley had you know some tough possessions early in the game, but then kind of yeah. recovered. Um, I can ask both of you just how did you see her kind of learn and get better just within one game? I, th- I think sometimes just sitting down and taking a deep breath. I took her out and told her take a deep breath. Like it's a part of the game. You know what I mean? They're, you're not going to be perfect every every single game, and you're still huge learning curve as a rookie. Um, and she's just done a good job of really just taking her time, seeing things, um, and just stepping up. I said it before, and I really feel like I think what we're seeing now with Haley is um, we are down people, and she's being needed very much. I mean, she's played 30 some minutes um, the last two games, and I think she thrives in that situation. So I think what we're seeing right now is who Haley has always been her whole, her whole career. What was the mindset going into all the time get to the late basket? But to tie it, did you just feel like we're just going to attack when overtime starting? Yeah, I mean, we came to the mindset that we wanted to win the game, and we got the opportunity overtime to do it. I mean, we wasn't going to walk out of here without a, without a W. Yeah, you guys, you guys did a really good job attacking the paint, even with, you know, some really tough defenders in there. How were able to kind of pick apart the defense going to the basket? Just being aggressive. I mean, Coach T always says north, south, not east, west, so, <laughs> you know, just being aggressive. And also – Knowing that being aggressive, you also got to look for your team as well. So we got a, good, a lot of good looks from that as well. So just going north, south, not east, west. Good job, Leash. Great job. Uh, <laughs> I saw your defense on your own. She had, I think, 26 and a third, and she had 28. Yeah, she had 21 at half. 
Um, and that's something that we talked about. We told our post players they needed to take on the challenge. Um, and I thought that they all did that. I mean, no matter who we threw in, when we threw them in, they really took on the challenge to try to limit her touches, um, limit her opportunities. Um, and so because of that, we were able to hold her to seven points um, in the second half. So um, I wish we'd do our work a little bit early. You know what I mean? A little bit early in the in the first half. But again, just really proud of their um, their bounce back. Um, not quitting and really sticking with it. What do you think a, this two stretch game stretch could do? For, you're playing with a lot of kids a year or two out of college. How much confidence is it going to give this group moving forward? You know, come on the road and going back to back like this. I mean, two big wins like this definitely a confidence booster. I mean, even though one or two years out of out of college, I mean they're very mature players. I mean, it's the reason they're brought here because of, of the great players they are. But I mean. The most important thing for us is stay locked in and keep keep playing hard and continue racking up wins. Uh, Haley, just talk to me a little bit about you know adjusting in this game. What kind of changed for you as it progressed? Um, I think yes, yeah, coming out, taking a deep breath, um, cooling it. I think even when I got back in, there was another turnover that happened, and I was just like, "Girl, just breathe." So it was just stop trying to make passes that aren't there or forcing things. And I think the, the thing the top coaches and teammates get on me for is just like picking up the ball. I think a lot of times I do it because I see something, but I just need to keep that dribble alive, which I'll put a lot more. So I think just kind of finding that rhythm, listening to them and incorporating that, it, it helps a lot. I know you and Ryan have a good relationship and I saw her kind of getting on you a little bit. What, mm -hmm. did, what were those interactions like? Stop picking up your dribble, <laughs> basically. And so then, and then same thing from Barb and T. So I okay. tried to do that. And then when I did, it helped quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Coaching is great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do your job very well. <laughs> uh, we're going to come here. Let's go to Mark Shenmark. Go ahead, Mark. Hey, all. First off, big congrats on the win. Um, T, question for you. It felt like the flow really picked up in the half court for you guys offensively in the second half. I was wondering what things you changed up or what you felt um, just hit better. Uh, we just talked to them a lot more. They were picking up their pressure. Um, they did a really good job of picking up their pressure, especially when we picked up the ball. Um, <laughs> and so we talked a lot about just um, attacking more north-south. Um, if they wanted to pressure pressure us to take advantage of that, use that to our advantage by getting downhill, drawing, and being able to kick. So we tried that. We did some other stuff. We did some ghosting um, within our within our half-court offense that I think freed up some opportunities as well. Um, but in all honesty, like, Players just made plays. Um, they went out and made plays. Leach made big plays. Ryan made big plays. Haley made big plays. We went to some, uh, we went to like one specific set and tried to see if we can get a lot of um, action off of that, which we were able to. So, um, you know, they just ended up making plays, to be honest. Definitely. And, you know, going off that too, it feels like Ryan just keeps getting better and better at getting into the paint and finding ways to, to find her teammates. Um, I was wondering if you could just highlight that a little bit and, and what you saw from her tonight. Yeah, um, you know, one of the, the one of the pieces of feedback we gave Rye at the end of last year was being able to use her whole repertoire. Like we know that she wants to shoot threes. There's no doubt. Everybody knows that. And she's pretty good at it. But Ryan has so much within her game that she can do to help um, impact our team. And so we we really challenged her to be able to do that um, coming into this coming into this season. I think she's really taken that to heart. Um, so what you're seeing now is just, you know, her taking our feedback and really applying it each and every night. Definitely. And then Leash for you. Uh, how are you feeling? You just played 45 minutes tonight. Fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Fine. I mean, that's oh, no, I know. I'm just <laughs> trying to camp prep this really well. Sure. That's all you gotta say. <laughs> Bye, Leash. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, next, let's go to Emmanuel Blaze. Go ahead. Coach, congratulations, to the team, on a great win. Let me ask you this Nia Coffee's, you, you look at her stats, you'd be like, only 2.7 rebounds. But her, what she means to the team, can you explain? What she mean with three blocks at the end of the game, those blocks at the end of the game, the, the defensive pressure she can help with and things like that. I mean, I keep saying it. Nia is so important to what we got going on. Um, she is our anchor defensively. Um, I mean, she just gets it done. There's no, it's not flashy. There's no complaining. It's really like hard hat. She puts on a hard hat. She comes to work every single day and just does her job. Um, she's one of our best communicators. Like if they can't listen to Nia, then they're just not listening. Um, cause she talks them through every single possession. 
um, you know, defensively. She's just our anchor defensively. Um, and then obviously the fact that she can shoot the ball helps as well. Um, we need her to be more aggressive, to be honest. Um, but um, yeah, Nia, Nia is really important to what we got going on here. And one more coach. How important can sometimes a role trip like this help a young team like this get together and with wins such as these and help them grow together? Yeah, it builds confidence. Um, it builds confidence. We 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 left, you know, we left home feeling like um, we had to come on this road and we had to go get some wins. And I think, um, you know, getting the first one, now getting the second one. What we can't do is we can't have, we can't relax. We got to continue that same mindset. We got, um, because we are a young team, right? If you start feeling good about yourself for a second, it's when you get your ass kicked in this league. So we got to continue to keep the pressure on um, on ourselves about performing at a high level every single time we step on the floor. And how do y'all finish with this? Uh, you had a good game, but the 6 five, did you, you know, how was, you know, I didn't see your, your facial expression. I don't want to get you in trouble, <laughs> but uh, it looked like you were a little too happy about that call at the end. Like I was too- you weren't too A little too happy. Oh, oh weren't too happy yeah I mean you're never happy with a foul call I guess um so it's disappointing to foul the game especially um at a time like that in overtime when I want to be out there but um yeah I mean it's disappointing it's just going back watching the film see what I can do better but I'm really proud of the team and the way AD came in and, and stepped up when the team needed her we needed them all right we have time for two more on zoom let's go to the nature Batiste. Thank you so much, Kelsey. Uh, Coach T, I have a couple questions for you and then a couple, one, just one for Haley and Alicia. But first off, I wanted to go back to the challenge at the two minute mark, the successful challenge and how huge that was just in helping you guys to even get in position to take it to overtime. What did you see uh, to make that call for the challenge? I mean, to me, that was an easy call. Um, as you can see, I didn't even hesitate to make that one. And Cheyenne didn't run up to me on this one because I think from our angle, we could see that that was just not a good call. Um, and so I was very confident taking that call. They, I mean, I did ask Nas. <laughs> I did ask her, like, did you touch it? Um, but she said no, but we were very confident to, to do that one. That one to me was an easy missed call. Indeed. And then Coach T, going back to the feedback, you talked about giving Ryan after last season. She yeah. really showed a lot of poise, a lot of patience on that inbounds uh, play to end regulation. How does that kind of speak to the growth you've seen in her so far this season? Yeah, Ryan is continuing to grow. Um, she's taking on so many different things, obviously coming in as a rookie and having to carry a team, right? Her and CP having to really carry this team last year. Um, and I, I think that, you know, somebody her caliber, that's what she wants, you know what I mean? And so now we we come into this year and we have more rookies, right? Um, and still more young players. We got Leash, we add on, but we still have young players. So they're all... She's trying to still continue to figure it out. But I think within that, you know what I mean? She's doing a really good job of trying to show, um, you know, that this is this is our team and that she has she has leadership capabilities. Haley and Alicia, I know that you guys weren't on the dream team back in uh, 2019, but how important is it for you guys to kind of finally in that streak and get that first win against the sun and be just a part of what the dream are trying to build and making that kind of statement in the league? Uh, I mean, it's definitely difficult to win here. So it was a big win for us. I mean, just want to continue adding wins. I mean, 2019, that was a while ago, so I don't remember. Yeah, but right. I mean, I'm just being in the moment now. I mean, I mean, we're building something special here. It was great. And, you know, it was a big win. Yeah, what Leash said, I think, I think what's being built here in Atlanta is really special. So I was... I don't know, ecstatic when I got drafted here. So to be a part of this and come and win on the road at New York and now in Connecticut, we got two more we want to get. Um, I think it's really exciting to be a be a part of this new era of the dream. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, ladies.